Another week, another Tides of War mission, this time bringing us the last of the new weapons to be added to Battlefield 5 in Chapter 4 of Tides of War. The MAB-38 SMG, for those who just want a quick rundown, is essentially a medium range close quarter focused SMG which performs as good as any SMG probably ever will do at medium ranges and is still competent at close quarters. It's quite controllable, has relatively low recoil and excellent availability of specializations for both the close quarter and more medium range roles the weapon can perform at and it gives the assault rifles, namely the STG and Sturmgewehr 1.5, a real run for their money, at least at close medium ranges, less so of course at the more medium long distances. For those then who want a little bit more detail, in today's weapon review we're going to be talking about the MAB 38 unlock criteria, which means of course we're going to be talking about how to get this weapon as fast as you can through this week's Tides of War missions. Then we'll talk about the stats, at least those that we do know as of yet, the specializations available and that I would recommend for this weapon, how it performs comparatively to some of the other SMGs out there, namely of course the MP34 and the MP28, but also the EMP, and lastly we're going to talk about how to get the most out of this weapon when using it on the battlefield. But jumping straight into the unlock requirements, this week's Tides of War mission thankfully does not focus exclusively on Firestorm or even on Outpost. For the most part you can get away with playing whatever game mode you want to play, with a few exceptions, but if you want to get this weapon as fast as you possibly can, I would recommend playing Outpost and focusing on one of the two bottom root unlocks, going for the kill assignments and of course the objective assignments for the Outpost game mode. With that you should be able to unlock this weapon, say within one and a half, two and a half hours with a bit of objective focus play and trying to really focus on those assignments. That out of the way then, what about the stats? Regrettably of course, this weapon being brand new, we don't have detailed stats. What we do know is that it performs in terms of damage models as any SMG really would be, which means 4 shot kills in close quarters up until 10 meters, then a 5 shot kill, eventually even an 8 shot kill, usually at those more medium long ranges where SMGs truly are not extraordinarily effective. We also know its fire rate of course at 600 rounds per minute and we know it comes with a relatively limited magazine size as only 20 shots available. In terms of recoil we don't have exact numbers but I can tell you this, it's relatively low for the SMG class of weaponry especially considering its fire rate but of course there's plenty of SMGs out there with lower fire rates and lower amount of horizontal and vertical recoil. In terms of these specializations then, well which ones are available? Luckily the selection here is quite good. You can either go for the quick reload specialization giving you 15% faster reloads or high velocity bullets giving you better muzzle velocity on your first choice. Then if you go down the left hand side you'll be looking at polished action giving you better sustained hip fire accuracy followed by the extended mag giving you a 30 round mag for this weapon. If you went down the right hand side you're looking at the ported barrel giving you a decrease to the horizontal recoil of this weapon followed by the barrel bedding giving you better accuracy while aiming down sight and standing still. Then your last choice is between the enhanced grip giving you better base hip fire accuracy not sustained hip fire accuracy unlike the polished action or the custom stock giving you improved accuracy while moving and aiming down sight simultaneously. In terms of my recommendations, really there is two very effective routes here, depending on if you want to go for the more medium range roll or the more close quarter roll, you're going to choose accordingly, left hand side close quarter, right hand side more medium ranges. I for my part chose to specialize this weapon kind of on the more medium range focus, going for the high velocity bullets, going for the ported barrel and the barrel bedding, but then actually going for the enhanced grip for that slightly better hip fire, which allows me to actually perform surprisingly well even in close medium range engagement distances with my hip fire. So I'm quite happy with my choices so far, but absolutely there's other ways to run this weapon most effectively. Very much like with the MP28 which this weapon compares to relatively favorably and relatively interestingly. Speaking actually of that comparison, where does this weapon sit compared to the remaining SMGs available to the Menic class in Battlefield 5? Well essentially it is a slower firing version of the MP28 and I say that because I just recently reviewed the MP28 on my channel and said that it was a close quarter medium range focused weapon that bridges the gap between the close quarter powerhouses such as the Swami and the Tommy gun and the more slower firing medium range focused weapons such as the EMP, MP40 or even the ZK383. And this weapon absolutely fits into that role just as the MP28 does, but I would argue it fits even better. The slightly slower fire rate and the extremely low recoil given its fire rate make this weapon extraordinarily competent even at medium ranges, not medium long, 
but medium ranges and in close quarter thanks to his hip fire, meaning that really I'd argue easily up until 30, 40, 45 meters, this weapon is true competition for some of the best assault rifles out there. The STG-44 or the Sturmgewehr 1.5, you truly can give these players a run for your money with this weapon. Not to forget, of course, that you have smoke and health in terms of your gadgets, which for those type of engagement distances and those kinds of situations is an extremely lethal and powerful combination. So this is absolutely a fantastic weapon. There is no direct equal. It does sit unique within the SMG category at that medium range focus. There is some weapons that perform similarly as previously mentioned the MP34 or of course the MP28, but they don't quite perform just the same. So absolutely give this weapon a try if the kind of medium range close quarter medic play is something you're interested in. Then in terms of how to use this weapon most effectively, there isn't really anything I can tell you here that is revolutionary. In close quarters, hip fire. This is an SMG, it's excellent at hip fire. At more medium ranges, definitely ADS. Your accuracy is not very good when hip firing at say 30 meters, even if you go for the all hip fire upgrades. Go for headshots. A low recoil weapon is always great for getting headshots and improving your DPS on target. Stick to the right engagement distances, so close quarters to medium range, nothing beyond that. And a couple of tips when trying to extend the engagement distance of this weapon. Crouching will decrease the amount of horizontal recoil you're dealing with, and burst firing will make this weapon a lot easier to manage at those more medium range targets accurately. That means actually hitting your shots, because going full auto is always a possibility, but if none of your shots actually connect, then really you're not doing yourself any favors. But that pretty much wraps it up for the MAB38 SMG. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this weapon, if you have any experiences with it so far, and if you've unlocked it, what you actually think of it. Leave, of course, that, as well as, of course, your usual video suggestions, feedback, and opinions down below in the comments. If you found the video interesting, entertaining, or helpful, don't forget to share it, and, of course, give it a thumbs up. But with all that being said, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you in the next Battlefield 5 video.